Good morning, miners. I'm Gavia. And I'm Brooke. Today is Wednesday, February 5th, 2020. Today's schedule is periods 1, 4, 5, 6, 2, and 3, with period 2 determining your lunch. Please stand for the pledge. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Tennis club Friday after school. All are welcome and no need to sign up. Rackets and tennis balls are provided. This is a gentle reminder that today, after school in Tanner Hall, Valentine card making will be taking place for Club Hot, ASB, Club Life, and Defy. We will begin at 2.45 p.m. Hope to see you there. All running club members, our first practice will be today. Come on out. We will meet at the bleachers by the track at 2.45. Be sure to come out to the soccer field this Friday to watch the 8th grade versus 7th grade kickball game during extended brunch. Make sure to stay off the center field and line up on the dirt track to watch the game. The winner of the game will play against the teachers next Thursday. Congratulations to the following students that will be representing the 7th graders for the Placerita kickball tournament this Friday at brunch. James Landon, Brooke Fuller, Wiley Thompson, Bella Costello, Mason Cummings, Sarah Perez, Gannon Blade, Kaylee Tolentino, Parker Maxwell, Sadie Smelzer, Cooper Thompson, Alisa, Alyssa Davis, Jason Hanuin, Alana Kagoan, Cameron Werner, and Cora Howard. And now for our 8th grade representatives. Our awesome 8th graders representing are Timmy Larkins, Issa McGee, Jack Tioli, Sophia Parra, Taj Brar, Samantha Robinson, Matt Perez, Peyton Ruthbird, Tate Fuller, Maddie Maxwell, Brayden Jeffers, Benton ben Murphy, Ryan De La Maza, Ayla Noble, Lincoln Dunn, and Arlie Eve. <coughs> hey, Miners. Valentine Grams will be sold February 10th through 12th. Rubber Ducks will be sold for $3 and Bears for $1. Make sure to go over to the quad during brunch on these days to buy a little something for that special someone. They will be delivered on February 13th. Attention, Miners. Are you a gifted dancer or someone who loves to put together fun dance routines with your friends? Open auditions for the Spring Dance Show will, be, will take place next Monday and Tuesday after school in room 1002. All ability levels and all styles of dance are welcome. Please see Ms. Suchek for more information. Now over to Mr. Turner and Ms. Madsen. Hey, good morning, Miners. I have a reminder for all of us for this week. We got a resolution yesterday from the district officially declaring that this is National School Counseling Week. So it's important that we all, if you see your counselor, that we all thank them for the job that they do every day. Make sure that you uh, talk with them specifically about all the stuff that they help you with. So, you know, thank them this week. And we thank them because we appreciate everything that they do. Now, I am here to go over our student of the month folks that will be recognized this Friday. So with that being said, the... Student of the Month winners for January with the Character Counts uh, uh, area of caring, we would like to congratulate the following students who have been selected by their teachers for demonstrating the character trait of caring. First, from Team Adventurers, we have Alareza Tofangdar and Lacey Lennington. Uh, Alareza's kindness is from the heart and genuine and given freely. He is always polite often asking how a teacher or a peer's day is going. He's always happy to help. One of the reasons that he is a valued member of the Kid Flicks production team is because of his caring nature and his willingness to jump in and help anyone in need. He makes an effort to connect with others to make lasting relationships. The adventurers are so happy to have such a caring individual on their team. Lacey is kind to her friends, classmates, and teachers, and she shows compassion on a daily basis. She is always willing to help, and her expressions of gratitude are always welcome. Lacey is willing to go out of her way to make someone feel special and to offer a smile. She is truly a pleasure, and her teachers are so fortunate to call her a fellow adventurer. Now, from Team Attitude, we have uh, uh, Timo Talili and Ethan Sony. First, T 
Timo is an excellent example of a caring individual for so many reasons. He cares deeply about others' feelings and their needs. He purposefully makes sure that no one is working alone during group or partner work, and he is the first to help others in need. Timo's huge, warm smile shows his teachers and others that he cares about having a positive attitude and making everyone feel comfortable. He also cares about his own success and his grades, putting forth his best effort on a daily basis. His teachers are so happy to have him on their team this year. Ethan is another great example of caring. You can count on Ethan to always help others in any way he can. He is supportive to his classmates by never excluding anyone, listening to all views and opinions openly, as well as applauding others' success. He cares about people's feelings and is never rude or hurtful towards anyone. He cares about himself as well, making sure to keep his academics a priority while maintaining a positive attitude every day. Lastly, Ethan's involvement in SSA shows his empathy for others' feelings and also shows that he cares about his school by making it a better place. Great job, Ethan. Now, from Team Fusion, we have Persephone Sedilio uh, and Lucas Cabareo. Persephone has a warm, friendly smile every day, and she demonstrates consideration when treating all of her classmates with kindness and respect. Persephone is thoughtful and willing to help anyone who needs it. Her teachers love to have such a genuine young lady as a part of Team Fusion. Lucas spreads positive energy wherever he goes. He shows such care when asking teachers and classmates how they are doing. And when leaving, he wishes everyone a great day. Always understanding, Lucas is willing and ready to help out when necessary. Team Fusion is proud to have Lucas as a role model for the character trait, caring. Now, from Team Explorers, we have Maximiliano Lozano and Ishmael Herrera. Max has made impressive improvements since starting school in September. He went from being super quiet towards others to sharing his food and pictures of his family. Max makes sure his pals in class are happy by offering his video games when he has the opportunity. He uses please and thank you on a regular basis to teachers and staff and does so with a huge smile. Thanks, Max, for being such a caring student. Ishmael demonstrates caring on a daily basis. Whenever a student is struggling with something, he voluntarily and respectfully helps out the person in need. He is kind to all and cheers others on when they do not succeed the first time. Team Explorers feels lucky to see Ishmael and his infectious smile every day. Congratulations to these students of the month. Uh, tomorrow, we will announce the winners for the other three teams. And here at Placerita, character always counts. Now over to Miss Madsen with some news for the day. Good morning, minors. Uh, we wanted to let you know that today you have a slightly modified schedule. Don't worry, your teachers will keep you on with that. Um, the reason for that is because we are all, as a school, taking a, an interim practice test for the CASP. It's got a bunch of reasons that we're doing this. One is that you get comfortable and familiar and reminded of getting on the computers, um, logging in, getting, getting that type of practice, and so that your teachers can get that practice. And then also so that you can kind of remind yourself of what the testing looks like. So you'll be taking a short English test, much shorter than the actual CASP, um, and all of your results will be shared with your teachers so that your teachers can kind of see where we're at and uh, look at where we need to go before we get to the CASP, okay? So give it your best effort, your best shot. Um, this does matter in the sense that your teachers are looking at it, but it is just practice, okay, minors? So do your best, do a good job, and we look forward to uh, helping you out with that, okay? Have a good Wednesday. Thanks, guys. Every day at Placerita is a holiday, and today is National Girls and Women in Sports Day. That's all from us, live from our Kids Flick studio. I'm Brooke. And I'm Gabia. Have, Have a, a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, Wednesday, minors. minors.